The last couple of videos, we've shown you a lot of upgrades we've been doing, but they've been outside the house. Well, for the exception of the very last video where we went to Panama, if you didn't see that one, I'll, I'll link to it below. Anyway, this video is an upgrade that we're doing inside the house. And to do that, let me show you our current process for making ice and filtering our water. This is our ice maker, works fairly well. You just put water in the reservoir here and ice eventually just falls into this. Then we take this, we come over here, we open up our freezer and we pour the ice in there. As you can see, the ice sticks together because it's very soft ice. And while that process works, it's also not ideal. The reason we have to do ice that way and we don't have our fridge hooked up is because we have to filter our water because we don't have a full filtration system. We have the tanks, we were doing rainwater collection and all of that. So we have to filter our water through another filtration source before we can make ice. And that filtration source is this Berkey here. Again, works well, but it's just another step in the process. So in this video, we're gonna do a major water upgrade. We're going to install a UV filtration system out where the water comes into the house. Then we're gonna feed the water into our refrigerator. Nothing's going in there now. So ice make, gets made automatically. There's also a water system inside where you can fill up your glass of water with filtered water. But we're probably gonna keep the Berkey around just just to have it around. But this will make this will make a huge upgrade for us. We no longer have to filter our water out of our sinks. All the water will be crystal clear, ready to drink, very clean, and ice will just materialize down there without us having to lift a finger. I've wanted to do this upgrade for a while. And it's finally happening. It's finally happening. It is, yeah. It's finally happening. Hopefully if we got all the right parts. Yes. So the first step of this process is to extend what we already have going on here. These are two whole house filters that do a pretty good job of filtering most of the water out of our freshwater holding tank outside. But now we have this UV system going in. So we've just put this piece of wood up against our cinder block house and we're going to use some PEX, kind of tap off of that and through our new UV filter. So. Let's do that. And by the way, if you're curious, the UV filter is what takes out viruses and bacteria and that kind of thing more than just sediments that your whole house filter would take care of. So that is why we're putting in a UV filter. Gets rid of everything. Comes out the other side, crystal clear, ready to drink. First step, turning the water off. So in case you're wondering, our water comes in from the outside down there and then it runs up here and then across here, and then up here, and then through our whole house filters. So when we turn it off here, that cuts off water to the rest of the house and the filters. Yep, because this one's off as well. This yep. is our bypass for these. So now we just have to extend this up so it goes through our UV filter and then back down to the rest of the house. And Pepper is being very helpful. She is, she's very helpful. Very helpful. We're using PEX for this because PEX is so easy to work with. And we're using half inch PEX, as you can see here. And these shark bite fittings, as long as you get the right size, of course, just fit into the PEX with one of these clamps. So you put the clamp on first, you put the fitting in, and then you use this PEX crimper to actually tighten the clamp on the PEX which actually closes down on top of the shark bite fittings. So that's how you can extend PEX, move it around, create you know, right angles or T's in this case here. So it's very easy to work with. There's many different ways to do this, but this is the way that we are doing it because it's easy and we know how to do it this way. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna show you how to connect this little piece to our shutoff valve. And this, when it shut off, is gonna force the water up through our new UV filtration system by just turning this little valve here. 
So, put your clamp on first, then your PEX piece, and then the clamp fits over the PEX piece like this. So right now you can twist it because it's not very tight. So this is where our crimper comes in. See this little piece on the end? You just fit it onto that piece and you crimp down with your crimp tool until this little white here is blue. Then you release, boom. Now this is tight and you cannot turn it anymore. There you go. You want it like this. So these fittings are facing out this way. Let's crimp it down. All right. There we go. Now we have our system running so the water will run right down here when this is turned on, which we almost will never have. We're gonna leave it off to force the water up to our UV system. And then back down here, all straight down to the house. And now to get it hooked into there. This bad boy. all be hooked up with the PEX. So as we said before, our water comes up through this pump up to here where it can either go through our whole house two filters, a whole house filter and a carbon filter, or we can bypass it. From there, it can either just continue on or it can come up and go through our new UV filter and then come back down and head over to our hot water heater and everything else. Right now everything's off. So the next step is to install the UV um, lamp in here and then turn the water back on, make sure nothing leaks, and then we can plug it in and see if it works. Make sure nothing leaks. Make sure nothing leaks. Nothing's gonna leak, we're pros. We're, we're, we're pros. Okay. Squeeze, remove the lamp connector by squeezing the plastic Locking tabs on the sides. Touch the actual lamp. There we go. So this goes in to the chamber, leaving about two inches of the lamp protruding from the chamber. And then this one goes like that. Okay. Okay. We ready to turn the water back on? See if it leaks. So for now, this is not going to be on. Right. We're just going to let it run through as Make sure it no is. Leaks. Make sure there's no leaks. All right, let's do so it. So everything's off right now. So let's turn this back on. It should only get to here and here. So this is off. What? So this is off, so it's going to direct water up here. But this is also off, so the water's stopping here. Yeah. So if I open this up, that's bypassing the system. So now it is going through here. Yeah. That's good. So I don't. So far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. I don't see any leaks. So now we can plug the sucker in. So. Ready? Mm -hmm. Lamp replacement timer in days. So one year from now. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's try turning on the water. Do you want me to go do it? Now we're going to try turning on the water in one of the faucets. Make sure that all works. I don't know why it wouldn't because we just tested this, but let's see. How are we looking? So far, so good. Looking good. How's the flow out of the faucet? Normal? The same, yeah. Okay, good. That's what it should be. So we should be getting good bacteria-free water. Bacteria and virus-free. 
All right, step one is complete. Just getting clean, clear bacteria and virus-free water to the entire house. Now, step two of this project is to hook up our fridge through these insanely confusing sometimes little components and parts <sighs> to tap into our pecs underneath the counter, to go into our fridge via that outlet and all that good stuff. So that's, that's step two. Let's get started on that. So to do, do this job, I have quarter inch tubing, I have a sleeve, then I have a compression nut here on the tubing. So the way this works is you put the nut over the tubing first, then you insert the sleeve inside, then you pull this up like that. And then this will screw on to the back of the fridge and compress the tube against the sleeve, and that's what's gonna hold this tube to the back of our fridge That'd via its water inlet. No leaks. With no leaks. That's what the compression valve's for. No leaks. No leaks. So it says you want to hand tighten that and then do a quarter turn with a wrench. So as tight as you can with your hand. Okay. All right. Quarter turn. All right, that looks good. Now under the sink. So far so good. I keep saying that. I know I'm going to jinx myself. All right. Guess who gets to do the under the counter stuff because she's smaller than me. <laughs> Courtney. Okay. So just like here-ish, right? That looks good. Yep, there you go. Good. Release on the other side. Good. Time to turn the water back on. Fold. Seems fine. Looks good. Is so off? right now, right now this is off. So nothing's going to the fridge yet. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Let's do it. Here we go. So now it should be going to the fridge. It should be, I'm just making sure there's no leaks. Doesn't feel like it's leaking there. We need to check under the fridge, but not in the fridge. Let's see. This looks good. So let's check if we can get drinking water out of the fridge. Come on the side of me so you can see it. Yeah. Let it flood in first. Yeah. Come on, baby, you got this. Filling its reservoir. <gasps> water! We have water. It's going to be a little bit dark because it's going through the filter in the fridge. It's never been used before. Some charcoal from the filter fridge, but we have water. Everything's still good back there? Yeah. Cool, so we can push the fridge back in and maybe try turning on the ice maker. Last step is to turn on the ice maker. And that's this guy right there. Let's go ahead and take this out. All right, so now we have a nice empty ice tray. See if it works. Watch it won't. <laughs> we will see if it works. Things went way too easy today. All right, it's been a couple hours now. We just got back from actually a local wine event, wine fest, festival, fiesta, I don't know, something. So now we're gonna check the freezer to see if our ice was made. This is the moment of truth. Food! We have ice! We have 
ice. It's going to take a little while for it to fill. So now we have ice. It worked. It worked. We did everything right. Well, right enough. Right enough.